everyone this is Jay Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation so let's get started problem solve d power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9 into y equals to cos 2x firstly let's find order and thinking of the given differential equation given differential equation d power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9 into y equals to cos 2x. Identify the highest derivative here. d power 4 is the highest derivative so our order will be 4 and the highest power of the highest derivative is the degree. Here 1 is our degree or just write the given differential equation as d power 4 into y plus 10 d squared into y plus 9y equals to cos 2x. We know that d is a differential operator then d square will be d square by dx square d cube d cube by dx cube and d4 is d4 sorry d4 d4 4 is d4 4 by dx4 4. So we can write d power 4y as d power 4y by dx power 4 plus 10 into, we can write d square y as d square y by dx square plus 9y equals to cos 2x. So here d power 4y by dx power 4 is the highest derivative, so our order will be 4 and the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree, degree is 1. So we are given a differential equation which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9 and q equals to cos 2x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given non-homogeneous equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We will find yc. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the rules of auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply take r just to 0 then we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is the homogeneous equation to the non-homogeneous equation or homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation we can say and we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Now let's find complementary function using the roots of auxiliary equation better. Firstly we'll find the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous of non-homogeneous equation and we'll find roots to this auxiliary equation. So let's see how we are going to get roots to write complementary function. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to, we are having f of d equals to d is power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9. So by replacing the differential operator by m, we will get f of m equals to m power 4 plus 10 m square plus 9. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m power 4 plus 10 m square plus 9 equals to 0. Right? We can write m power 4 as m square whole square plus split 10 m square as 9 m square plus m square plus last sum, sorry, last term will be, will remain the same. Now let's take m square common from the first two terms, we'll get 
m squared times m squared plus 9 plus the next two terms remains the same. If you notice you are having m squared plus 9 in both the terms. So let's take m squared plus 9 common from the two terms. Then we will get m squared plus 9 into m squared plus 1. Equate each factor to 0. Okay. m squared plus 9 equals to 0. And m squared plus 1 equals to 0. From m squared plus 9 equals to 0, we will get m squared equals to minus 9. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 9. We can write square root of minus 9 as minus 1 into 9. Again, we will split the square root of minus 1 into 9 as square root of minus 1 into square root of 9. We know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 9 is 3. Then this becomes plus or minus i into 3. Simply plus or minus 3i. Right? Now coming to m square plus 9 equals to 0. Take this plus 1 to RHS, you'll get m square equals to minus 1. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1, which is equal to plus or minus square root of. We know that square root of minus 1 is i. Then we'll get m equals to plus or minus i. Finally, m equals to plus or minus 3i and plus or minus i. Four roots, right? Plus 3i. Minus 3i, plus i, and minus i. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 roots. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus 3i and plus or minus i are the roots of our auxiliary equation. f of m equals to 0. Which are? Complex conjugates. Right? Plus or minus 3i is complex conjugate and plus or minus i is complex conjugate. If 3i is a complex number or imaginary number, then its conjugate will be minus 3i. If minus 3i is a imaginary number, then plus 3i is its conjugate. If plus i is imaginary number, then its conjugate is minus i. If minus i is imaginary number, then its conjugate is plus i. Right? So, we got complex conjugate numbers or roots. Fine. If m equals to a plus r minus i, we are conjugate roots. Say. If a plus ib is a complex number, then a minus ib is its conjugate. If a minus ib is a complex number, then a plus ib is its conjugate. Right? Then, our solution, that is, the complementary function will be e power ax into 1 constant into cos bx plus another constant into sine bx. Right? In case of a is 0, we will get e power 0x which is e power 0. We know that e power 0 is 1. Then this becomes e power 0 into c1 cos dx plus c2 sine bx, right? Since e power 0 equals to 1, then you will get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Is equals to c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx. Right? Now let's write complementary function to our problem. y is equals to 1 constant. First we will write for plus or minus 3i. Okay. Cos 4b equals to 3. We will get c1 cos 3x plus c2 sine 3x. Now we need two other constants. 
4 plus or minus i. Let it be c3 and c4. c3 cos for b equals to 1. Okay. Compare m equals to plus or minus i b with m equals to plus or minus i into 1. Then for b equals to 1, we'll get c3 cos x plus other constant into sine x. Right? Therefore, y is equals to c1 cos 3x plus c2 sine 3x. This is not x, this is 3x, right? For b equals to 3x. Plus c3 cos x plus c4 sine x. Now let's find y. Particular integral. Particular integral is given by y p equals to 1 by f of d into q is equals to we have f of d d power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9 into q cos 2x. This is of 1 by f of d into cos ax form, right? For a equals to 2. We need to find d square which is given by minus a square equals to minus 2 square equals to minus 4. We should always remember that denominator must be non-zero, right? So, consider the denominator part, take the denominator part, d power 4 plus 10 d square plus 9. We can write this d power 4 as d square into d square plus 10 d square plus 9. Now let's replace d square by minus 4 and see what we are going to get. Minus 4 into minus 4 plus 10 into minus 4 plus 9 gives minus 4 into minus 4 minus into minus plus 4 poza 16 plus into minus minus 10 poza 40 plus 9 16 plus 9 is 25 minus 40 which is equals to minus 50 non zero so by replacing d squared by minus 4 in the denominator, we'll get a term which is non-zero or a number which is non-zero, right? So we can replace d squared by minus 4 is equals to 1 by, you can just write this as, don't write this here. Firstly, let's write d power 4 as d squared into d squared plus 10 into d squared plus 9 into cos 2x. Now we can write replace d square by minus 2 square equals to minus 4 which is equals to one by minus 4 into minus 4 plus 10 into minus 4 plus 9 into cos 2x. Which gives 1 by minus into minus plus 4 poses 16 plus into minus minus 10 poses 40 plus 9 into cos 2x. Is equals to 1 by 16 plus 9, 25 minus 40 into cos 2x equals to 1 by 25 minus 40 is minus 15 cos 2x or minus 1 by 15 into cos 2x. Therefore, yp equals to minus 1 by 15 into cos 2x. Now, coming to the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. We have yc c1 cos 3x plus c2 sine 3x plus c3 cos x 
plus c4 sin x plus yp minus 1 by 15 into cos 2x which is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.